For the past 16 years, Mason has run on a trimester schedule. But with recent financial troubles, the school board has decided in fall of 2014, Mason will be switching to a traditional semester schedule. Instead of the year being broken up into three trimesters, five bells apiece, there will be two semesters with possibly seven bells apiece. It is more costly um, to operate a trimester schedule. Um, we have been, um, been pretty creative over the last couple years when we've made several um, reductions in teaching positions at the high school. And, but we are losing the very, um, the very foundation for all students um, in the trimester schedule, so it's not becoming what it was originally meant to be. Chris Ennis has been teaching in Mason since 1990 and helped make the decision to switch to trimesters 16 years ago and he is not thrilled about switching back. There are a lot of schools that are on the semester system that do very, very well. Um, I think Mason's unique in that we do have the trimester system. And one of the big unique things about it is the fact that uh, I really believe the trimester system allows the educational potential of all students to, to reach their own maximum. When you go to a semester schedule, I kind of refer to it as a uh, assembly line mass production education. You're getting kids in, you're getting them out in 50 or 55 minutes or so, and we don't have the time to, to spend with the students that we would have right now. Despite the concerns, Mason High School's principal, Mindy McCarty-Stewart, feels that switching to semesters will not hurt the school's ability to educate its students. In a semester, trimester, anything, we could certainly um, do a disservice and make anything an assembly line approach, but um, I would dare say that I don't believe that our students or staff would allow that to occur because I could, you could be a teacher and you could have an infinite amount of time. What you do with that time, you either make it feel like an assembly line or you make it in an innovative classroom where there's relevant learning going on. The school cannot financially support a trimester schedule for much longer in its current state. But Mr. Ennis doesn't think switching to semesters is the best solution. Without a doubt, semesters is a, is a cheaper system to go. Uh, my problem is, is I don't think we've really researched all avenues that we can, we can look at creatively to come up with more money. Um, I know that the administration really doesn't want to do a school levy, but, you know, sometimes you can cut too deeply. And, and when you start cutting off arms, then that's not, not, that's not the kind of cut you want to make. A levy is inevitable in our future. It's going to need to happen. Uh, a levy still um, to ask for an amount in the levy that um, would help us continue to sustain and move forward. Um, still is never going to reinstate what we've already lost. So, do the pros of semesters outweigh the cons? Right now, that answer is unclear. But with the plan to switch in 2014, it won't be for long. I'm Gay Dubois, NBC News.